Designer buttons really, really suck. Okay, and we see this quite often, designeritis. So a designer's brief might be to improve the aesthetics of your website. And then what they do is they go through and they tone the website so that everything matches and fits together. Totally forgetting that your call to action and your actions on the page need to jump off it. Now imagine you're in a shop, okay? I like to use real world examples. Imagine you're in a shop and you've got your basket of food and you're looking around to check out. Now you know that the checkouts are at the front, okay? But even though you know the checkouts at the front, you look around over the top of the carousels of food looking for the pay here sign. And that pay here sign will look very different to all the other offer signs that the shop uses because that signage is a precursor to you putting money into that shop's pocket and that's what your buttons are they're a precursor to somebody taking action and that's one step further towards putting money in your bank account so make sure that your buttons have an action color and make sure that that action color is the same throughout your website look you can do anything you like with your website. It's down to you. There's no website police. Nobody's gonna come along and slap your wrist because the button isn't the right tone or the right shade. In fact, the more it clashes and the more it jumps off the page, the more likely people are to click it. And people quite often say to me, Stuart, what is the best color button? Well, it's whatever button makes people click it the most. If you've got a green site, make it pink. If you've got a blue site, make it purple. I don't know, but make it pop off the page. Now, if you see the next slide, what you'll see here is a designer who has hidden the button. Okay, now if you look, you might see it. You might be able to spot it beneath the small photograph on the left-hand side. That is a really classic example of a bad button because your eye is immediately drawn to the bottom section, uh, which is a blog post excerpt. Now, a better thing to do with that is to really beef it up. Don't be shy about what that next stage is. Everything on your landing pages or on your website, and by the way, all of your pages on your website should be considered landing pages because you never know where somebody's coming from when they land on your website, should have a goal. And that goal is the one thing that you want the person to do when they are on that page. If it's to click a button, get them to click the button. If it's to read more and they need to scroll, get them to scroll. But whatever that one thing is, everything on that page sh should support the action of the end user. Okay, so don't hide the button. Really, really beef it up. 